guys, so this is the Q&A picture that we posted. I posted it on my Facebook and tagged Josh in and all his friends from Facebook got to ask questions. We did um, his Instagram and my Instagram, so those questions. Uh, we have a bunch of questions, we're going to try to get to all of them, but if we don't get to some of them, sorry, but we're going to try to get through all of them. The first question's from... Kieran McManus. What is the 14th picture on your phone or tablet? Probably of Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Jada Wakens asked, how did y'all start talking slash meet? Well, first it was on Instagram, we... Uh, I saw yeah. him in a shout out for shout out picture and I was like, hmm. That face is pretty smexy, so I'm gonna go <laughs> stalk his page, and I did, and... Then you asked to message me, alright. Yeah, you said to message you, then I messaged you like the next day or something. It didn't start out like that. I said, I said you were cute, and you were like, haha, thanks. <laughs> and I was like, you should DM me, I <laughs> don't Slide into my DMs. And then he messaged me though, so it wasn't me who messaged you first. Yeah, and then we started talking for a few days, and we Skyped a few days later. Like, maybe a week later. That's it. Because we kicked for a long time. Yeah. Not too long, but... Yeah, but then we started Skyping, and apparently the Skype call that we had, it was his longest. Yeah, it was eight hours long. Eight hours long. That was our first Skype call. It was eight hours long. That was the longest I've ever Skyped someone before. And we just Skype more and more. Yes, yeah. that was bad. Escalated from there. Yeah, it did. Um, we didn't really, we weren't expecting anything out of this. I sort of just wanted a friend, just because I was going through a lot, and I just wanted a friend to talk to about stuff. And mm, but I did think he was cute. <laughs> 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 I told him that. I I, I thought he was really cute. Bethany McGann, I think. Yeah, okay. Bethany McGann. Would you ever move to Northern Ireland with Josh? My plan for future is um, I'm wanting to go to cosmetology school. After I'm done with that, I'm wanting to move over to Northern Ireland. And if everything goes to plan, start a life with Josh, not just Live with me. Yeah, not just like it'll be more of starting a life with someone and not moving. Yeah, just moving over there. It's moving over there because wanting to get married type thing. Starting on it. Yeah. Kind of How did you both feel the first time you met? Nervous. I was, was really nervous. nervous. I was very nervous. I felt like I was gonna puke. I got up really early to get ready. I needed more time. <laughs> but I was I was really, really nervous. For everyone here, we can put a clip here now of what our meeting was like. <laughs> Yeah, whenever I was on the plane, I was getting more nervous the closer I was getting to Tampa Airport to meet this lovely lady. Aww, that's sweet. And then, like, I was waiting because he hadn't messaged me at all. Well, I mean, I had messages I woke up to, but that was before he left. And then I hadn't had a message from him since. Yeah. The minute my phone popped off and he messaged me, I was like, I think that's right. He said, baby, at a heart. I was just like, <gasps> I was so nervous. Like, I cannot explain how nervous I was, but I was really excited. But, like, the moment I saw him, it was like. Did it count out of it? Yeah, I was just really, really happy. Try not to cry, but yeah, okay. Carrie Smith said, do you feel the talking over Skype was worth it? Like when you saw each other, was it like finally, like it was all worth it? Question mark. Definitely. It was worth it. Funny enough, I don't think anyone knew this except maybe oh. like a select few, but we broke up for maybe like three days. Yeah, but it wasn't really... It wasn't really a, much of a breakup because we still spent like every moment with each other. There was no breaking up about it basically. That's a break kind of thing. We didn't. We didn't hold to that at all. It was closer actually. Yeah, it did. A lot. Cause it was mostly like realizing that I didn't want to be apart from him. Yeah, it was definitely all worth it. Everything, every moment up till now was definitely worth it. Kayla Moore. Love Kayla. 
how much longer after he leaves do you guys have to stay long distance? Like, is there any plans for what's next? Okay, we sort of explain that. After I'm done with college, I'm going to move over there, and that's about how much plan as I got right now. Apart from, like, visits for them. Mm -hmm. We're planning more visits now. Since we've seen each other, it's going to be a little bit harder to be long distance, I feel apart like. Apart from each other? Yeah, I feel like it's going to be harder. I don't know. One thing that I have to say is I know that we can get through it because Are obviously, for yeah, yeah, for 10 months, we waited for 10 months, so obviously we can get through it. Robbie Beckett? Isn't that how you Robbie. Say? Yeah, Beckett. Okay, okay, okay. Ask what was it like the exact moment you first met in person and how did it feel? Yeah, let's show the clip here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, feeling. Very happy, but nervous at the same time. Yeah, because as you guys saw in the clip, his bag dropped, and that made me really nervous. So I was like... I was like holding on to it, and then I was like, hold on, and I was like, I, I, I think I was actually planning on like making it like sit on the back of my leg or something, and then uh, it just kind of like dropped. And he was hugging me so tight, I felt like I couldn't breathe for like a few seconds. I liked it, because, I mean, it was, it, was, it was a very nice moment. Jimmy Coulter. What do you prefer, bongos and trombone? Trombone, definitely. What's the difference? I don't know. Bongos are driving, trombones the <laughs> Trombone. Superman or Batman? Oh my gosh, Batman. Batman. Definitely Batman. There's no... Tips. Batman's just so awesome. Flippin'. There's no competition in that. Batman is a human, and he doesn't even have any superpowers. He just made all of his weapons and stuff like that. There's so... No gadgets. Bad flippin' <laughs> Stuart. John Wright. He asked the Batman. Okay, never mind. Mark McLean asked, Hey Mark. Mark. How does it feel to not be legal to drink drunk alcohol? I don't drink. <laughs> so I don't care. I don't really care either. Tiz Becca asked, How'd you guys start talking? We've already answered that. Yeah. And she asked, When did you guys realize you, you liked and loved each other? You, you say yours first. I maybe realized about two weeks later that I liked you. Aww. But didn't really say anything. It's about the same thing for me, but I mean, like, I realized that I really liked him whenever he went on his trip to Dublin and I couldn't talk to him at all, and it made me, like, really sad. Well, I mean, I talked to you, like, a little bit. I was still messaging you, but I don't think we called. Yeah, but I mean, we didn't talk that much because you were out doing stuff. Yeah, and then I only have Wi Fi when I was back at the hotel. My phone would like go off and I was like, is it Josh? And then I'm like, wait, why do I actually really care? And I'm like, well, I care because I like him, duh. <laughs> but I mean, like, I don't know. And um, especially whenever he was, he got drunk last, the, I think it was the second to last night you were there or the last night he was there. Oh, he had Guinness and he was sort of drunk-ish and he was like, he messaged me and said, do you know how beautiful you are? And I was just like, I don't know. Like that, and that made me really, I don't know. Yeah, I got a lot of butterflies. From one of the beginning parts of us talking, we were on Skype one night, and it was like, like we were talking for a long time, and finally I said something like, I said, um, would you ever consider being in a long distance relationship? What did I say? I think he said something like, no, because I don't think they're, Something, something, something. I remember exactly what he said, but I know he said no, I would never consider him being in one. And then I was just like really heartbroken. I was really sad from that. I think it's just funny now that he's in one. And despite all you bad words that have said to Joshua, you guys will never meet, blah, 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 blah. Well, looky here. We're together. No. Jimmy Coulter asked. Can you try to impersonate each other's accent by giving each other stereotypical words to say? <laughs> Hashtag don't eat that shoelace. Say something. Say something really like Northern Irelandishness. I have one for American wise. Okay. Yo, D, let's go get some hamburgers at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get any more American than that. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Don't laugh. <laughs> okay. Yo, dude, you wanna go down to McDonald's and get some hamburgers? Get the hammy burger? Hammy burgers? 
Give me something. Um, What's the crack? <laughs> <laughs> What's the crack, man? Wait, say it again. What's the crack, man? What's the crack, mate? <laughs> <laughs> What's the crack, mate? <clears throat> A meat. Lauren Wright asked, have any of your opinions changed on the other since meeting? No. No, I still love him the exact same as I did the moment. Oh. I started figuring out I loved him. He's pretty much the same as he acts over Skype, and so am I. I don't know, this little pretty girl exact same. But you have to remember, like, the people that have asked that kind of question, you gotta remember that we spend, like, 24 hours a day Skyping each other. Unless we're like going out and doing things or doing something. And I think a lot of people that aren't in a long distance relationship don't understand that. This is the same as any other relationship. And the thing about it is that you want to be with the other person over Skype. So you are with them as much as you can be. I feel like a lot of people don't understand that it's... Real. Yeah. It's real feelings. It's the exact same thing as if you found someone that you live near that you ended up really liking and you guys hit it off and you liked them and whatever. It's the same thing. It's just a little bit different. It's not with the person always and sometimes it's a good thing. It's the same type of feeling. Some people need to realize that before they scold Josh or me. And, and that's another thing I want to get into really quick before I ask or answer any more questions is that you guys really need to start anyone that is watching this that does not respect me and Josh's relationship. I'm sorry that you don't <laughs> like that we're together or whatever. I'm sort of getting tired of the comments of, that are like thinking that it's still a joke and it's not. I love Josh very much. I love you very much. Now we're going to answer the Instagram questions starting with my Instagram page. Kittens x8 which is also Megan. I love you Megan. You are babe. She asked what's your favorite thing about each other now that you've met? Can't say everything. Just how passive he is. I really like that because I'm a very um shouldn't say angry person but I get frustrated very easily and having someone that's very um, equals it out a lot helps me because I'm not constantly like getting mad. <laughs> Well, I, I mad it, like if I was like that, it would be like would like be like angry at each other. I think yeah, I think yeah. we'd be angry all the time at each other, and this would not have come out the way it has been. And I also like how like he he listens very well, even if he's not paying attention, he acts like he's paying attention. And <laughs> like if I'm like frustrated and I'll like just talk to him about something, like oh I agree too or something, just makes me feel better. <laughs> I, I don't really know. Favorite thing on the top of your head. <clears throat> I don't know. You don't like anything about me. I like everything about you. Okay, there you go, Megan. It's everything about me because he can't think of something. <laughs> Just one thing. Zombie.r said, How'd you guys meet? What's the first thing you guys found interesting about each other? You already said how we met. Um, first thing I found interesting, or we found interesting first thing. Mmm. That takes me way back. You being able to play guitar. Hmm. I find that really interesting. I think his accent. <laughs> Do you still find that accent? Yes, I love it. Whenever I talk to you. Oh my goodness, the first time he said eight, I about lost it to eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still find it funny. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Eight. 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 There you go. Eight. 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 Psychotic X Kitten said, What's been your favorite thing you've done since meeting? We've gone swimming a lot. <laughs> yeah, multiple um, many times. We've been swimming. Went to the beach as well. Went to the mall. Went to the cinema today. Um, theater. Going out to eat. I think my favorite thing, honestly, has just been at night having him actually there with me to like just cuddle and watch Netflix with American Dad or Bob's Burgers and just actually having him there to hold him. That's probably my favorite thing. It's probably my favorite thing as well, just being able to hold you and be with you. Kimberly.cow, when y'all first met, did you know y'all would be together to this day? No. Not at all. I never thought that we would get as far as we did. Honestly, even when we started dating, I didn't think we'd get as far as we did. Because he 
Joshua was not as uh, maybe sounding a bad person, but he wasn't very open about the relationship, which made me feel awkward in it at the very beginning. And then once he told some people, we had negative feedback from his friends. So I didn't exactly expect it to last as long as we have. I was hoping it would, but I didn't expect it to get as far as it did. And it grabs it just people start knowing about it and then that made me more comfortable with people knowing and then my family started knowing and then Sierra underscore sanctuary. If you guys got married, what would your theme be and why? All these questions by Sierra Sanctuary we have already talked about, so we have said a Harry Potter themed wedding. Because we both love Harry Potter. Because we both love Harry Potter a lot. Um so we already have like we've already looked at like Harry Potter and your weddings. Yeah, we've also looked at Lord of the Rings as well. Lord of the Rings wedding, yeah. I think that's your YouTube with Spotify. Um, if you guys had kids, what would their names be and why? <laughs> well, if it was a boy. Um, we decided Jasper for a boy. I don't even remember how we came up with that. I think we said something. We were looking through names. Oh yeah, but how we came up with because I've said that I always wanted a J name for my boys. If I had a boy, I'd want J names. I've always wanted a J name for my boys because I've always liked J names. Joshua. For a girl, we were thinking it was her mom, her mom name. And um, your mom saying Karen. Yeah. Karen Elaine for both of our moms. If you guys were to have matching outfits, what would it be and why? We have actually had matching outfits while he's been here. Yeah, the ACDC. ACDC. We have the cat. Oh yeah, we have a trippy cat shirt. Like tie-dye with trippy cats all around it. Yeah, we, and why is because ACDC. We both love ACDC. Yeah, tri trippy cats is because we're both trippy. Okay, HTTP dot Emily underscore underscore. You are very beautiful, just to let you know that. Okay. What is the most difficult thing in a long distance relationship other than distance? And you guys are so cute together. You guys are literally goals, heart, little diamond thingies. Being there for each other. I would say getting mad because thinking one or the other one is mad at us. Cause like, like I said, Josh is very passive. So sometimes I think he's mad at me when he's not even mad at me. He's just being really passive or I'm actually really upset about something. And so yeah. the being mad is sort of hard. Because while he's been here, I haven't, I haven't really been mad about much, have I? No. Really, well, for me, it's being mad and thinking that the other person is upset when they're not. Or, or I would say, mis misread messages, like misunderstood. Oh, yeah. Atomic mistake at Shine and Lane, do you guys talk about marriage? Did we talk about marriage? <laughs> a few times. A few times. Maybe more than a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we do. We talk about our future a lot, so it's normally... Nah, it would turn into talking about marriage after that. Yeah. Atomic Mistake asked, do you two talk about living together? If so, would you two live in the States? No, we are not going to live in the States. I want to move over to Northern Ireland. We talk, we've talked about living together a lot. Okay. Atomic Mistake asked again, can you guys take a million pictures together because you two meeting for the first time makes me so happy. We have taken, I have so many pictures in my phone right now. I didn't even know my phone could hold that many pictures. I have a lot of photos of us together as well. Torrey underscore. She's actually in a long distance relationship, the person that I'm about to ask this question. And have you guys talked about closing the distance? If so, and do you think that will be? You guys are so cute. I already said, well, we've answered that question, sort of. She asked again, what's your least and most favorite thing about being in an LDR? Already pointed that out too. Least is distance and misunderstanding messages and Favorite is getting to know him a lot better than what I would if I was living near him. At least it would be the same distance and favorite. Getting to know you a lot more. Hannah Gims underscore said, describe the moment each of you knew you were in love. Love is a different thing than like. I think love is probably, I don't even know to be honest. I, I knew when I liked you, but the love thing sort of just Built up. Yeah, I think I found out I loved you after you said, I don't quote unquote love my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. It is just sort of accumulated over time. It builds up and builds up and builds up. It didn't really hit all at once, it just kind of. 
definitely did not hit all at once because it was more just... And that was the same with uh, dating each other. The whole dating thing, we didn't even like specify we were dating each other until we made it Facebook official basically. <laughs> yeah. There was no, hey, do you want to date me? Yeah, hey, you want to be my girlfriend? Well, he did ask. I think he did. I don't think I did. You don't think so? See? I didn't. It just kind of happened. From us like talking to each other, then we're like, I like you, you like me. Because we've already we like each other. It wasn't even us who asked each other if we liked each other. It was my brother. Oh, yeah. My brother basically said, so are you and Cheyenne dating? And then I said, yeah. Yeah, and then he said, yeah. And then I was just like, oh my gosh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Tori. How long is he staying with you in Florida? It's been three, it's three weeks, but... The answer is too short of time. Toxic underscore tears, I love you. How did it feel when you guys first saw each other in person? Nerve wracking and amazing. Very happy and excited, but at the same time, pretty nervous. Toxic underscore tears, do you plan on visiting him next? If if yes, when? We've sort of gone over this while he's been here. I don't know if I'm gonna go over there next or if he's coming back over here. Oh, I wanna come back at Christmas, but hopefully I can. If not, I'm gonna try to earn enough money to come over there for Christmas. The goal is Christmas. There. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna ask, answer Josh's questions on his page. First question here is from Maddie Butler. How long have y'all been together? We've been together just about 11 months now. We've been talking for 11 months. We've been dating We're for 10. 10. But it's about to be 11. Oh yeah, it's close to 11 now. It's close it's to like 11 months now. From... He actually came to see me on our 10 months. The day he got yeah. here was 10 months. Best anniversary present ever. <laughs> we've been talking since last July. The middle of last July. Been nearly a year since we've been talking. Next question is from Kimberly Kelly or Keel. Kimberly Keel. How did y'all meet? See, they answered this question like <laughs> four time. Instagram, we met on Instagram. The next one is from Alicia One O Nine X. What is one thing you love about each other? Josh's guitar skills. Her singing skills. Ziggy underscore best. What did your parents say when you guys told them about your long distance? By the way, it's awesome that you two have actually came together. I don't know you that well. I don't know you that well, Josh, but you're awesome and she seems awesome. And I'm happy because you two are total goals. Ah. Well, mm. my mom, funny thing about this is my mom loves Josh, but she said, because at the very beginning of me talking to him, I told my mom, and she was like, well, that's a lost cause. You'll probably never see him because he lives in Northern Ireland. And now, <laughs> you see him now. Have you ever said that to her? No, I haven't said anything. I wonder about. what you'd say if you brought, brought that, that up. up. Yeah. That's what she said. But she loves him. What'd your parents say? <clears throat> my parents, well, I told my mom at the start. Whenever I was on Skype with her, she was like, who's that? And then I said, it's my girlfriend. And then she was like, I forgot exactly what you said. And then she told my dad. And then my dad was, what do you say? Do you remember what I said? No, but I know your mom was like, how does that even work? There's, yeah. You can't be with her? There was a lot of... How does this work kind of thing? Yeah. Next question. Next question is from Taylor Kmeek. How did it feel when you guys first met? Holy poop, guys. <laughs> it's like a popular question. Nerve-wracking and exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy, but at the same time pretty nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Kitty underscore LU13. How did you tell your parents about that you were in a long distance relationship? Hey mom, I'm dating this guy from Northern Ireland. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> he just explained to it. Just basically she saw us Skyping. His mom saw us Skyping and then she told his dad. This is the last question. It's from Basic Day Austin. Would you guys ever collaborate with each other? YouTuber musicians. Oh, is Zach? Who is it? You're awesome, Zach. Yes, I would. Yeah, I would. We've tried to collaborate with different people before. No one has ever really taken a shine to it except Megan, and we just couldn't at the time. But yeah, we have tried to get several different collabs going. But if you ever want to collab, yeah, message us and we would totally do it. That is our question. And before editing, this is probably how long? But over 50 minutes. Over 50 minutes, so you guys see the edited version. 
Don't know how long that's gonna be, but there you go. Thank you for all the questions you asked. But anyway, so... I hope you enjoyed these questions we've answered. And thank you guys for asking the questions. I uh, hope you have a great day. Thank you for all the support we've gotten. Through the time I've been here, there's been a lot. A lot of people that actually care, especially... I'm gonna give a shout out really quick to Megan. Megan's been like... Total babe this whole time. Um... Really good friend. But, uh, yeah, just shout out to Megan. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little cutie. You're a cutie. Okay, bye! <laughs>